Hi, welcome to Land and Sea DIY. My name is Greg. Uh, this is our first episode for our new channel. Uh, the catalyst for this channel was uh, boat restoration that we did, that we we are still doing, that we started about three years ago. Uh, we purchased a 1977 Grady White overnighter, 20 foot cutty cabin. Um, boat was totally rotten, bought it for $500 and uh, in this video, you'll see us pick up the boat, uh, take it to the ramp, and get it up out of the water and just see the condition that it's in. So we bought this boat in April of 2020 at the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, one of the challenges was actually getting out of the water. They had closed down, the city had closed down all the boat ramps. There was one ramp that was left open, and uh, it was about a five-mile journey in a boat that I really did not know the condition of the motor or... I was relatively sure that the, the boat was, was rotten given its year and, and uh, the condition it would just generally was in. But uh, so had a five mile journey uh, to the only bo open boat ramp in Fort Lauderdale and got it out of the water. Um, you'll see the condition it was in again um, once it's out of the water. And uh, yeah, so welcome aboard and uh glad you're with us on this journey and please comment below let me know if i'm insane for buying this boat and deciding to restore it i think you'll see as we get into the boat uh whether i'm insane or not uh it's my first time our first time my wife and i's first time uh, restoring a boat working with fiberglass all that stuff so uh, we learned from youtube and we want to show youtube what we were able to do um, with what we learn on on other folks channels so please subscribe if you like what you see please give us a like and uh, hit that notification bell and here we go Okay, it's running. So the trailer is not the trailer that the boat came with. The, the trailer that the boat came with, the trailer is rusted out, really not roadworthy. So I found a 2016 aluminum trailer, real extreme trailer made down in Miami. Uh, it had a bent axle and what I thought was just one bent axle. Uh, got it home as we got into it. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any photos or video uh, of the restoration of the trailer, but found out it actually had two bent axles. Uh, took it down to Real Extreme down in Miami, the manufacturer. Was able to get the two axles for it. Uh, they gave me some tips and had to buy a fender for it as well, another wheel. Really, by the time we were done with the trailer, it we were a couple hundred dollars short of just buying a new trailer. So, um, anyways... Uh, that's the trailer that uh, you'll see the boat on. And uh, took us a good, 
I don't know, I'd say about a week or so once we got into the trailer to, to put the two axles on in our driveway and uh, get the new fender on. And, and uh trailer turned out to be a great trailer, but just word to the wise, do your homework when you go buy something like that. No, I didn't get the boat fully up to the the bow stop there, but uh, it's up on the trailer. Good enough for us to get home. So you can see the boat is absolutely just covered in barnacles. There wasn't a square inch on the bottom of that boat that didn't have, I don't know, some, some areas that looked to be like an inch thick of barnacles. I don't know, three quarters of an inch thick of barnacles. Um, yeah, so we got it into our driveway and uh, immediately started trying to scrape them off and it just don't die heaven uh, but uh, we spent a couple hours with scrapers scraping barnacles and uh, you'll see the pile of barnacles that we ended up with on the on the driveway and uh, uh, yeah that was I guess the the beginning of the restoration is scraping barnacles but we ended up having to do a lot more than that uh, as you'll see in, in future videos so Anyways, well, thank you for watching our inaugural video. And uh, again, please comment below if you think we're insane in, in doing this. And uh, if you uh, if you yourself have restored a boat and, uh, you know, what, what you went through to restore it. And uh, please like, subscribe, turn on your notifications so that as we put new videos out, you'll, you'll receive a notification that uh, we got something new for you to watch. Thank you and uh, happy new year.